Hello, my marvellous sausages! It's the 25th of August, and Zur is here for the first time in Season of the Witch. He's here in the Tower Hangar, look. No, he's not. I'm in a strange instance. Hang on. Look, here he is. There he is, old testy face. Well, that can sometimes happen. He's not here in the instance. So you have to log out and log back in again or change character. And that usually cures it. Right, then, let's have a look and see what you got. Hello, sir. Ooh, first up, look, we've got the Crimson Hand Cannon here. Yeah? This will be quite nice with the buff to hand cannons if you haven't got one of these. It's very nice indeed. Kills with this weapon heal the wielder. Precision kills also refill the magazine. And this weapon fires a three round burst. It also has a catalyst too. That's well worth picking up if you don't have that one. Uh, next we have the Graviton Forfeit. Uh, so this is for the hunters. Let's have a look at the stats there. They look quite... Well, actually, resilience is a nice one to have. It increases the duration of any invisibility effects. While you're invisible, your melee recharges faster, your weapons reload faster, and your recovery is greatly increased. Nice and exotic, that. Not a bad roll. 67 is high with the grenades there. That's good. Oh, we've got the Synthoseps for the Titans. Let's have a look and see what we've got. High in mobility, which is a shame. If that was in resilience, that would have been perfect. But strength is good because it's a melee-based exotic. Increased melee, lunge range, improved melee, and super damage when you're surrounded. Well worth picking up if I haven't got it because the one in collections is poo. Uh, and then finally, ah, the good old Starfire Protocol for the Warlocks. Fusion grenades have an additional charge and recharge for empowered weapon damage with empowered weapon final blows getting more energy defeating target the fusion grenades grant a rift energy this is even after the nerf this is still a great exotic and it's actually finally had look uh, uh, an ornament and it's a very sexy one to keep an eye out for that one and now it's time for the legendary weapons the Icolos hooker v103 or version 3 of this baby now this hasn't got a very good score on light gg it's been given an f for f and users but it's not actually that bad let's have a look we've got adaptive munitions which is always handy air assault hmm extended mag fled mag well fluted barrel <laughs> an extended barrel as well and a stability masterwork yeah not a popular role that one but you know it's not bad next we have the gn7 pulse rifle again a middling role with a c in the popularity stakes we've got a uh, rampage we've also got grave robber ricochet rounds hey rick alloy magazine uh, slow 10 post and also slow 52 ocular as well and it's also got a ray Range masterwork. Midland to fair that one is an adaptive frame arc buddy as well. Not an arc buddy, but it's an arc buddy. Yeah, do you get it? Yeah, there we are. Good. Uh, let's move on here to the Death Adder. That's the bad guy in a uh, Golden Axe, uh, but this isn't. It's a submachine gun. This one, though, not a bad mark, actually. It's got a B in the popularity stakes. Haven't used this one this much. Introduced back in the final, not final, season of the arrivals. It's solar, it's lightweight frame, and we've got rangefinder, dynamic sway reduction, steady rounds, alloy magazine, full bore, and corkscrew rifling as well, and a handling masterwork. For me, this is the pick of the bunch this week, the Sweet Sorrow Auto Rifle, rapid fire frame, it's arc. It's pretty good, actually, and you can also use this for crafting if you haven't uh, used up your deep sight harmonizers. Now, we've got tap the trigger, stats for all, accurized rounds, fled magwell, smother, and also chambered comp and potato, and we've also got a reload speed masterwork as well. That's been given a B on like GG, and that's quite a nice roll on that one, and also it's great because it can unlock your patterns for it. Well worth picking up. Next, we've got the Tripwire Canary Combat Bow. This is lightweight frame, and it's arc, and this is very, very popular, this particular roll. A lot of people saying this is the best weapon here this week, and what's also good as well, of course, is that uh, the anti-barrier this season bow so it's very very useful and what have we got we've got frenzy archer's tempo nice fiberglass arrow shaft compact arrow shaft polymer string elastic string and of course the draw time masterwork as well very very nice indeed and look how weird it looks it's absolutely great next we've got the tarantula creepy crawlies inbound it's an arc linear fusion precision frame and uh, what have we got here we've got wellspring pulse monitor accelerated coils liquid coils extended barrel and arrowhead break there's a charge time masterwork on that one as well this will be given a d on like gg it's one of three arc linears that are available 
available at the moment. And the next one is an arc linear as well. It's the Sales by Pitch Glass, which I do like. Uh, now, this has got a better mark than the, Duran than the Durantula, the Tarantula. It's got a C. Uh, of course, we've got the Right Hook Origin trait there. We've got Multi Kill Clip, which ain't bad. Uh, compulsive Reloader, Liquid Coils, Projection Fuse, Polygonal Rifling, and Extended Barrel, and a Reload Speed Masterwork. The better one of the two there. Right, let's have a look at the Legendary Armor. And we've got the whole Fast set here as well, which is nice. Uh, this one, though, it's got a 30 in Intellect, which, of course, is brilliant. But you'd prefer it somewhere else, somewhere like Discipline or Strength. Uh, what have we got for the chest? A 63, 23 in Resilience. That is actually pretty good if you're going for a Resilience build. And it looks quite understated here. Well, that, that's the uh, Hunter one. We've got the whole Fast Cloak there. We've got a 65 in the Helmet, 19 in Strength, 18 in Recovery. We prefer that Mobility. And finally, the Legs. Wow, another big boost in Resilience there, which is always good. But Mobility is uh, preferable for the older Hunters. 67 though, that's big. Now of course the Dead Man's Tail is no longer being sold by Zer because it's wrapped up with the new exotic uh, rotators and it's in this week's pressage. So if you want a DMT you're going to have to go and complete that. But we do still have our Hawk Moon here. And this one's got a C on like GG in popularity. We've got Smooth Grip, Killing Wind, Alloy Magazine and Smile Bar as well. I'm in the middle of my Zer video and I've been waiting for one of these for ages. It's a Vex Strike Force incoming here look in Zephyr Concord. Let's go and do it. Yes! There you go. That's how you do it, kids. I got me my briar bands. Delighted. Right, back to Zer. Now, Warlock Armor. Let's have a squiz. 65 on the arms there. Oh, that's good. 19 in recovery, 20 in discipline for grenades. That's excellent, actually. I wouldn't mind recommending those. Uh, 64 for the robes. Mobility, 17. Recovery, 14. Intellect, 18. It's not bad. It's not great. Not great. Uh, the helmet. Just look how, look how crazy these helmets are. Yes, they're excellent. It's almost like a metal skull. Do you know what I mean? Anyway, uh, we've got 22 in recovery again, which is good. Uh, we've got a spike in intellect rather than discipline. Could be better. 67, though. That is quite high. And then for the booties, 22 in recovery and 20 in intellect. So, 66 all over. That's pretty good as well. And here we are, finally, with the Titans. 63 on the arms. There's 18 in mobility. Resilience is very low there. I wouldn't recommend that one. Oh, my God. Look at that spike in mobility again and rubbish resilience. That's a big shame. Let's just have a look at it, though, if you're thinking of it for transmog. Nice. Look, some of you can keep your sandwiches or your uh, flask there in the front. Um, what's this? It's a pair of pants. This is a head mitt. <laughs> a helmet. Let's have a look at that one because I jumped in too quick. 24 mobility again. Why does that always... Why does this always happen to the warlocks? Uh, to the hunt, to the titans. <laughs> Oh my god, it's like I'm talking to my kids. And then finally, we've got the whole fast greaves as well. And again, a spike in mobility and recovery. Sick. I mean, they're good. That's, the, the numbers aren't bad 64, 65. But that's not where you want your spikes. There's a couple of things I want to bring your attention to with Banshee as well. Uh, we got the Retrofit Escapade. It had a much better roll yesterday, but if you can craft this and get Target Lock and Locked on it and the enhanced version of that, it is excellent. So you could, if you've got the cash, buy five of those and stick five Deep Sight Harmonizers and have a really good weapon. Well, anyway, that's here again. These will change again in six hours, six and a half hours, 1 a.m. UK time. These tend to uh, re-roll. And I want to have a look at what we've got here because we have a look at these earlier on in the week and this is still a corker and it's got a better role this legal action here it's got an a on light gg it's very good we've got rampage and moving target very nice indeed accurized rounds fled magwell fluted barrel and also <laughs> chambered comp and potato I can't stand out of tune, that is. But that's what it's got to be. It has to stick with that now. It's too late for me to do anything about it. And here we are with the first Trials of Osiris for the season as well. Now, the map is Meltdown. And let's have a little look over here. We've got the uh, Focused Decoding. And uh, the Adept is the Immortal Submachine Gun. But look, we've got some lovely new armor as well. It looks very nice. Look at that. This is the Titan set. Love. Whoa, look at those arms. They're great. I sound like Tony the Tiger. Off. Oh, I like the furry motif, yes, for the chest piece. And there's the boot. My God, look at the bulge in the front of his trousers. He looks like he's smuggling 10 frankfurters there. And here we are with the hunters, because I just want to give you a look. at That's really owlish, isn't it? The photonic cowl. That's lovely. Sexy piece of arm wear there as well. Ooh, this is a good set. Oh, my God, I'm going to have to play. I'm going to have to play Trials at some point this season. The vest, well, that'll look good with the rest of it, I'd imagine. Does anybody know of a way to fully preview... Or 
all the armor on at once. Photonic boots, they look quite nice. He's not packing as much as the Titan cousin was, but look at those nasty. Ooh, look at them like snake fangs, pointy teeth. Yes. And there's the hood. Very nice. Very, very nice. And as we're here, we may as well look at the warlock. What? That is... What? I couldn't believe... Look at that! Bri um, my, uh, one of my uh, marvellous sausages, Brian, said you're going to have to do it for this for this helmet. And he's absolutely right. Look at that! It's, uh, it's absolutely brilliant. Oh, no. I'm going to have to do it. There's the gauntlets. And they look good as well. Dragon claws on those. Let's have a look at the chest piece. It's a corker. Oh, I love the, uh, the, the red and the blue on it. God, that's really unique, isn't it? That's great. <laughs> it's Tony the Tiger again. They're great. Let's have a look at the boots. Uh, and, uh, well, they're brown, uh, but they're nice. Yes, they're nice. They're nice. Ooh, they are nice, actually, on the back. Some claws, like dragons have on the back of their feet. And there's the bond. Ooh, it's actually quite nice. So, some corking-looking stuff there in, uh, <laughs> Saints of Osiris. What? Trials of Osiris. That's what I meant. And if you want to have a look at how you can grab, uh, some of these new exotics really quickly and find out when, uh, Vex Strike Force is incoming, I've got a video here that'll show you exactly how to do it, because I got Got notified via my Twitter feed or X as it's now known uh, was told me but you can also do it via discord as well anyway here's a link to that video it shows you exactly how to do it and if you are enjoying the vid don't forget to give me a like and subscribe that would be utterly fantastic and let me know in the comments what you're purchasing this week thank you so much for watching and I shall speak to you all again very soon sausage it I don't know why I've got this ship I must have just stuck it on for a look and, uh, and it's the one that's in there. Well, there we are. That's what it is. It's bound to retreat very shortly up a mountain. Go on. Off you go. Tatty bye.